<laughs> I love this. Oh! Welcome back, everybody. It's Rosalie, your favorite Cuban German. Thanks for stopping by. I won't lie, you guys. It took me some overcoming, some conquering of my own internal struggles to put another video out. Um, I'm enjoying this a lot, reacting, sharing with you guys, and you guys are wonderful. Most of you have been leaving respectful comments, even if you differ in opinion, and I appreciate that so much. But, you know, whenever you put yourself out there and you choose to be a producer, not just a consumer in this world, especially when it comes to the internet, you have to deal with backlash and people being unkind. And like one of you guys said correctly, that's what the block button is for. But it still gets to you if you're not careful and it can be really discouraging. But I'm gonna keep going, they won't stop me. But before we dive in today, my encouragement for you would be, whatever you're working on right now, don't be defeated. We go through these ups and downs in life. Some people will support us, other people will hate. Welcome to you all, lovers and haters. <laughs> Thanks for getting my views up. <laughs> and um, be encouraged, you guys. Be encouraged to keep going and do what you're doing. Do not let people discourage you. There are so many people, a lot of trolls out there, which is crazy. That's the world we live in. You keep going, you keep shining. Don't let people discourage you. It's not easy, take it from me. I do care about what people think. I do wanna be liked. I do wanna do a good job and be successful. We can all hide behind our computers and we can easily say things and we don't know the impact it has on other people, but don't be discouraged. You keep shining, you keep going. Be fearless, dare to do the thing. Make the big moves, even if they're little moves, like um, Rebecca said in the show, This Is Us. A couple of shout outs today. I wanna give a shout out to XXX Shadow Elm. I hope I'm saying your, your username properly. I appreciate you so much. I love when you guys can give eloquent, respectful, informed comments. Um, educating me. This is what this platform's for. I want you to be able to feel like you can stop by, you can share your thoughts and feelings, you can express your opinions, and we can have an honest, polite, respectful conversation. Shout out to Mission Orion for your kind comment. Yahweh Liu, I hope I said it right, and Shiver Me Timbers. I appreciate you guys. I pride myself in trying to look at everything from both sides. That's why you'll often find me saying, I think this, but also this. Neither extreme is the solution. There's no shame in having values, y'all. There's no shame in having morals, especially in this day and age. This idea that because it's 2022, we can't question things, we can't have certain morals and values is completely bullcrap, especially if we're gonna claim to be on a search for truth. Truth is not all inclusive. Even though everybody wants to say, live your truth and everything goes, that's not true. Truth by definition is exclusive. By definition, truth says, I believe this is true and this is false. So don't be so quick to judge people, to jump to conclusions. Stop hiding behind your keyboard. So let's have an honest, respectful conversation. Shout out to you guys who are friendly and kind, who are respectful. I appreciate you. I'm learning to love myself and to brush off the things that people say and I'm encouraging you to do the same, not to harden your heart, to still love people, be kind, be respectful, but believe in yourself. So enough said, today, we're gonna dive into a song by John Legend. I love John Legend. I don't know him personally, I wish I did. I feel like I got to know him and his personality a little bit more by watching him be a judge on The Voice. And I've got to say, I really, really love the dude. There's something about him that is down to earth, kind, respectful. He has amazing pipes, obviously can sing for days. And he's just, he seems like a really cool person, a good father, a good husband, a kind person. And um, I wanna check out his song, Dope, today by uh, featuring J.I.D. I'm gonna check out the official lyric video today and look a little bit into the, the making of behind the scenes video. And you get to be part of that journey with me. Have you heard the song? What do you think of John Legend? What is your favorite song of his and why? Leave a comment below, where are you from? Thank you for stopping by you guys and I appreciate you being here. Let's dive in. We're gonna check out Dope, featuring J.I.D. by, by John Legend. Okay. Okay. This got that disco vibe, the, the video, the lyric video. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love this. Okay, John, doing it again. Those vocals, man. Oh! Yes, yes, yes! I love this. I love this. Take me to the outpatient. <laughs> Okay, J.R.D., I like how he raps. So rhythmic, melodic, and the way that he plays with the words. I often use the word dope. I know that's old school. <laughs> it's fitting though with the, with the vibe of the lyric video. That old school, the disco, the throwback. Okay. This is fresh, you guys. Love the vocals. Love his vocals. I mean, he's just, that's just legend. He's a legend. And uh, the way that J.I.D. raps, I really dig it. There's another song, um... I actually tried to cover ones where I tried the rap part and it's hard um, that I believe was featuring J.I.D. And the way that he raps to me is ah, is dope. It's really cool because he has this, the way that he raps is rhythmically obviously really fresh and really cool and melodically nice and, and gives it a cool touch. It's not mundane and the same thing over and over. But how do, how do you put that in? How do I put that in words? The way that he... The way the words that he chooses and the way they flow together, it's like this the play on words and these lyrical it's like lyrical art, which I appreciate, right? When you add elements of poetry and you have ele lyrical elements and you're able to combine that with music as you're rapping it, it's brilliant. I really enjoyed that song. The vibe is fresh, it really has that Pharrell vibe, um, that kind of vibe that Pharrell had on his song, Happy. You know, like I like that. It's really cool. Uh, let's check out a little bit of the making of, and let's see what we can find out about I had what he such did. An amazing time creating my new album. I'm feeling so creative, feeling so vibrant, and ready for people to hear this music. Well, it's funny being in the room with Ryan and Charlie because they love talking to each other. They love to talk. They're just full of energy. And me, you know, I'm more like focused on task, quiet, mellow. And I'm like, you know, let's write the song. Well, all-star team here. Let's see if we come up with something to beat other stuff. Usually I'll start any song with the music. What will the melody sound like? What will the beat sound like? Okay. And then I usually write the lyrics after all that's figured out. I'm often the other way around, to be honest. Like I'll have m ideas for a melody and lyrics, and then I add the beat and I add elements to it. And thinking the best of Pharrell. Like the, the records that we love... That he's done where he just hit out of the park. Nepotism. Yep, Nepotism. yep. Nepotism. My genesis. Yeah. So there you go. Obviously, Pharrell Williams is one of the great producers of all time. Charlie started playing some chords that kind of reminded us of him. Yep. Oh. See? I love watching the creative process, seeing snippets of that. Isn't that cool? And then, out of the blue, he calls Ryan Tedder. So I actually mumble my songs before I write them. I got to do better on that. I was encouraged to do the same thing, and I, I have before, but a lot of times I don't. I'm too quick to dive into lyrics, and then I think I get caught in it, and it's hard to then backtrack. That's so cool. That is so cool. Exciting and so thrilling that you could see yourself getting addicted to it. Uh, yeah, that makes sense, like dope. He can sing, you guys. 
I love his voice. I love it. Wow. We did something today. We spent four hours on something. We came up with something that didn't exist before we walked in the room. And that's always an exciting feeling. I love this. I love it too, man. Life is good. Ready for people to hear this music. Oh, this is so fresh. I can't complain. I feel very Yes. She's so Yes, catchy. I see that theme. Oh my, I'm bound to go. Ghost So Hey, <laughs> yeah, roller skating vibe. I really love it. What y'all think? Thank you for stopping by, you guys. Thank you for being supportive, for your views, your comments, likes, and shares. Subscribe, subscribe, click on that bell, and um, let me know what you think. Till next time, you guys, I appreciate you. Remember, keep shining, keep growing, keep loving yourself. You've got this. Till next time, ayo! Hey